Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how I did this look. This is a Tara Sataria look from the movie Marjawa. So many of you requested me to do this um, look from the song Tum Hi Ana. So here it is. Also, a lot of you guys were asking me to do an Indian look. This look will really go well with any Indian outfit. And I absolutely love how this look turned out. So if you want to see how I did this look, then please keep watching. Also guys, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So to start with, I'm using this primer and this is the Sugar Base of Glory Pore Minimizing Primer. I absolutely love this one. This one has got a silicone base and I really like my skin after I use this one. For my foundation today, I'm using this Sugar Ace of Face foundation stick. The brush I'm using is this uh, Miniso foundation brush. I did a Miniso haul in my previous video. If you haven't watched it, then go watch it. I'll link it here. I really like this brush, the way it's blending my foundation. It was my birthday yesterday and... Oh, the reason why I look down is because I'm looking at the monitor right now to check if I'm in focus. That's the reason why I look down. This birthday was one of my best birthdays ever because I went to an orphanage and I spent my birthday there with the children there and it was such an amazing experience. I cannot really tell you how I feel right now. It's, it's an experience. It's just an experience. So the foundation's on and I absolutely love it. My skin just looks like my skin after I apply this foundation but better. And now I'm going to apply concealer and this one is the Illegal Pro Conceal HD Concealer. I'm going to use my fingers today to blend it. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and then blend it with my fingers. What this does is it brightens my under eye area. Now I'm going to set my under eye area with the Perth and Doris Loose Powder and this one is the Miniso Sculpting Brush. I'm going to let it stay there for a minute and then I'm going to remove it. And whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going... Oh my god, a lot is left on the brush. And whatever's left on the brush, I'm going to... <coughs> and whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna run it all over my face. Now I'm gonna remove all the excess powder. So my base is done and now I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use this Sugar Arch Arrival Brow Definer and I'm just going to fill in my brows with this. For my eyes, I'm going to use this Smashbox Cover Shot Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to use this shade in the crease of my eyes. So it's just got a warm brown crease. It's a really warm brown and I absolutely love this color for my crease area. It was definitely one of the best birthdays I ever had. And the smiles on their faces, it's beautiful. The reason why I'm telling you this is because if I can do it, you guys can do it too. All they need is your love and support and your time. As soon as I entered, they all started singing happy birthday. It made me such a beautiful card. I put it up in my Instagram story. And as soon as they gave me that card, I it just made me cry. I was so happy and I was not expecting the card at all. But as soon as I received it, I couldn't stop myself from crying. It was beautiful just be there for them your time is all they need and i'm telling you the experience you'll get is beyond this world it's absolutely a beautiful thing to experience this was my first and i absolutely love it and i will definitely be going there more often i'm also applying this on my lower lash line on my eyelids i'm going to use the sugar eyes and shine shadow crayon and i'm going to put it all over my eyelids And I'm going to blend it with my fingers. I'm going to use the same eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use this shade. This one is a peachy golden shade. And I'm going to use this on my eyelids. 
Tara Sataria has a very peachy glow on her face. This brush is okay. I'm still trying out brushes so that I can make a video. A lot of you guys have asked me to make an essential brushes video. So I'm going to make it soon. But before that, I want to try a lot of brushes so that I can recommend good ones to you. I'm also going to apply the same shade on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on mascara. The mascara I'm going to use is from Sugar and this is the Lash Mob Limitless Mascara. I've currently fallen in love with this mascara. This mascara doesn't clump my eyelashes at all. I'm back after applying false lashes and these are from Bolly Glow. This one is the 3D Foaming Lashes. My first pair of Bolly Glow eyelashes was a disaster but I am willing to give this one a second chance. These are half lashes and I just applied it so that it gives a cat eye effect because She's got kind of a cat eye effect going on. I'm going to take the sugar eyeshadow crayon. Um, this one is a black one in the shade Onyx Oomph. And I'm going to just line my upper lash line very, very close to the lashes. The cat eye that she has doesn't exactly look like black. It looks like a little bit of um, brown in it. So I'm going to take this sugar eyeshadow crayon. This is in the shade Jasper Jazz. I'm going to take this brush. This one is from Miniso and this one is a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to take some of this eyeshadow crayon on the brush and I'm going to apply this all over my black liner and also extend it as a wing. So what this is going to do is it's not going to give you a harsh black liner kind of thing, it'll soften it down a little bit. And I'm going to slowly extend it as a wing, but very, very lightly. I'm very, very scared of doing wings. This, I find, is so much more easier. I'm also going to apply it on my lower lashes. So that's it for the eyes. Now I'm going to contour my face and I'm going to use this Sugar Contour face palette and I'm going to use the contour shade. This one is a new brush. This one is from Miniso and I'm going to use this to contour my face. She's got a very contoured face. So I'm going to contour my face really, really well. And my jawline. This one is a very, very soft brush and I really like it. But I'm going to be reviewing a lot of other brushes soon. Also guys, about the subscription, if you really like watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel. So just pause this video right now and subscribe to my channel. Also click on the bell icon. Bell icon is very, very important because I was checking the statistics and it says that 70% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel and it just breaks my heart. Why? If you watch my videos regularly, if you like watching my videos, then please subscribe to my channel. Tara has got like really pink uh, cheeks so I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Blush palette and I'm gonna use the pinkiest shade which is this one and I'm gonna use this one this one is a powder brush and it's from Miniso I am in love with how these brushes look now I'm gonna highlight my face and I'm using the same palette and I'm using the highlighter right here brush I'm using is a foundation brush from Miniso The highlight is on, now I'll move on to my lips. The shade I just used is from Sugar. This is a matte lip color and this is in the shade Plush Pink. It dries down completely matte and I absolutely love it. On top of this, I'm gonna add this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. This is in the shade Blushing Ambition. And I'm just gonna blend it with my fingers. So her lip shade is a little bit more peachy and pinky. So I'm going to add this Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in the shade number 28. So guys, this is it. I'm done with this look and I hope you like it. I absolutely love this look. If you really like watching my videos, then please subscribe to my channel. It really, really means a lot to me. And the bell icon is also very, very important. So click on the bell icon. Also like, comment and share. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Till then, go forth and dazzle.